Okay guys, you might not be able to tell from my demeanor, but like, I'm wigging out right now. If you remember last month, so that was May 1st, I weighed 166.2 pounds. And then I went off a lot in May. I went off plan a lot in May. I mean, really just like four or five days, but still, that's a lot when it's supposed to be zero. But other than that, I've been doing deeper state keto. So that is still stricter than my normal keto, even though the days I was not keto, I was definitely not keto. So I don't know what I expected to see on the scale, but I didn't expect this. Roll the tape. Guys, 159, 159. We are officially in uncharted territory. This is the lowest recorded weight of my adult life, probably since middle school. Oh God, I'm freaking out. Like, I just can't believe that okay i'm gonna pull a kayla keto and start crying but i just can't believe that like i'm actually doing it like just for people that never thought that they could lose weight and that you're gonna be overweight your whole life and it was hopeless and then to be able to find something that works and and stick to it and make yourself proud and even when you fall off the bandwagon and go off plan to get back on and to still be seeing results. You're like changing your life. You're changing your own life. And I just never thought, I mean, you hope, you, you hope you're that person, but like, just to like actually be the person that you've always wanted to be is like nuts. And I mean, of course I'm not done. There's further to go, but like, I've never been here before and I've been 160, but I've never been 159. And like, it's nuts. Like, I am so proud of myself. Uh, that, that being said, that was also without working out at all in May. Um, and that was purely for vanity reasons. So for the first four weeks of Deeper State Keto, I wasn't working out. I just wanted to find my protein threshold uh, before I moved to phase two. Uh, but the last week or so, when I said I was gonna start working out, I know that lifting weights can cause you to retain water. And I knew that might make <laughs> the scale go up. And I was not trying to see that for my first of the month weigh in. So I've only been doing light cardio one day a week. You see me on, on the treadmill on Sundays. But now, starting next week, I'm literally going to be working out four times a week. Uh, and it's mostly just weightlifting. I'm gonna do my cardio once and then weightlifting three days a week. So for July, I'm looking for not only the weight to go down, but the body tone to go up. What? Oh my gosh. But, and this also puts me at over 70 pounds loss. Like it's just a huge day. It's a huge milestone. I'm just so proud of myself. I want everyone to feel like this. I want everyone to know that you can do whatever you set your mind to and to feel like you like what you look like when you see the mirror. Like, look at this, look at this. It's not a lot, but it's there. And I like it and I'm proud of it. And I want this for everybody. Like, so just keep sticking to the plan. Don't worry if you fall off, get back on. Like you can do it. You don't have to be perfect. The keto diet does not demand perfection. It demands consistency. And as long as you do that, you will succeed. Oh, that's enough from me. I am done, but I'm so happy. Today is a great day and I hope you're having a great day too. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, monthly weigh-ins, and the occasional recipe.
You can also find me on Instagram at watchautumnketo. Thanks and I'll catch you next month for another weigh-in.